you've been feeling overwhelmed by money worries, now is a great time to create a plan of action. October is financial planning month, so local financial instructor Michael Mazaran is here from the Retirement Education Foundation, joining us to share some benefits of a financial plan, how to get started with it, and the fact that it is different than what you think it might be. It is. So a lot of people think, well, I have a budget or I have a portfolio, a 401k, an account somewhere, and that's my plan. And that can't be a plan. A, a plan is, it, it encompasses a, a budget and a portfolio, but a plan's got to tell us, okay, we're currently here and I want to get here, mm -hmm. whatever that end goal is. Maybe it's buying a car, maybe it's paying off student loans, maybe it's retirement. Whatever the end goal is, we got to figure out, okay, how do we get there incrementally and what do we have to do to get there? Is it saving more? Is it saving into different types of accounts? Is it spending less? It's not just I have a budget and a portfolio and that's my plan. So financial plans, you can have many financial plans for many different timelines. Mm -hmm. And you should? You absolutely should because if someone's saving for a short-term term goal like, you know, I'm taking a vacation in six months. The steps to achieve that are very, very different than someone planning for retirement 10 years away from now. Mm. Those are drastically different things. Those dollars should be saved into different accounts, into different investments, with different risk tolerances, because you have different time frames. And that's a really important thing people don't quite connect the dots on because they think, well, let's save everything into one account. It's simple. But by simplifying it too much, you're probably giving up too much on the other end. Yeah, it, it, sometimes if you have separate like sub-accounts for vacation or Christmas or a uh, new car, uh, mm -hmm. it can actually actually help you visualize those goals more because you're like, no, that is my car account and that's what I have in it for that, right? And it's funny, so people, we're such a, humans are emotional creatures and it's about money more than anything else. And with our money, if we can put a label on an account, that's my car account, it's tempting to, to grab it to go on vacation, but it's easier when you label something, that's my car account, that's my retirement fund, mm -hmm. to, to fight those temptations. Yeah, yeah, somebody would be like, well, just take that money. And you're like, no, that's for that thing. 100%. And the second thing here is tax planning. You know. The decisions people are making today are going to impact them 10, 20, 30 years down the road in terms of are you saving to a Roth 401k or a traditional 401k mm -hmm. or a Roth IRA or a traditional IRA. These things make huge impacts down the road, but without a plan, you're, you're, you're flying blind. Uh, so it's October 3rd. It feels like whenever you start a diet, you start it on a Monday. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like when you, when you start financial planning for the next year, uh, you want it to kind of start January 1st, but you can't make choices on January 1st because because then it takes weeks and sometimes months, right, to kick into place. So now might be the perfect time to start making those choices or at least having those discussions. For sure. And so the best time was yesterday. The second best time is today. Yeah. Start making a plan because the sooner you get to it, the more the compounding works in your favor. It's a huge, huge difference. So if you're, okay, so say we're, we're, we're setting a goal and we're financially planning for retirement and we want to utilize more of our uh, workplace contributions, mm -hmm. uh, 401k. So if we start researching that on October 3rd and we start making changes, these will kick in by the time the next year, calendar year kicks around. So every company is a little different, but the vast majority, those changes will happen within the next month, mm -hmm. uh, conservatively speaking. Okay. Um, what else? What, what are we, when it comes to financial planning, what else are we missing here? So, I mean, th these are the classes that we teach. We teach local courses. They're eight-hour courses. You can, you can find more information on retirementplanningedu.org. There are online white papers and calculators and videos. There's a ton of research out there and information out there. Just start educating yourself. You know, people typically, it's a fight or flight when it comes to anxiety. People mm -hmm. bury their head in the sand. They don't want to deal with it. It's it, just going to make it worse. It's overwhelming. It can be very overwhelming. And then you Google it and you get a hundred results. Yeah. And then it makes it sometimes even more confusing. So sometimes talking to somebody who you trust is, is the way to go. Uh, last thing is uh, small little things, 20 bucks a month over the course of 10 years just can really add up, right? Just start building habits. Start, building, start with 20 bucks, then make it 40 bucks, then make it a hundred bucks. Whenever you get a raise, increase your four 401k by one, two, three percent. You're not going to feel you got a raise. Those small things go a long, long way. Michael, thank you very much. Uh, this is uh, great stuff. You can always find out more uh, by visiting retirementplanningedu.org.